everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is alex if you don't know me and today i'm gonna be doing an amazon favorites haul since being in quarantine for as long as we have pretty much a year i have used amazon so much like i want to say every week i'm getting packages and it's not just because of quarantine itself it's also because you know i don't like to be around a lot of people i'm the type of person that goes in and out of stores I know exactly what I want. I don't like to shop around. I have a vision in my head of exactly what I'm looking for. So as far as shopping goes, I'm really not that type of person. Even pre-quarantine, pre-COVID, I don't like to be around a lot of people. I don't like to shop a lot. I'm just, it's not my steez. With that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the video. I'm gonna start off with like my skin and body care. I have been oil cleansing for the better part of the year. Before I was oil cleansing, I would use makeup wipes. I would always break out after I used them. I always got like little milia bumps, like the white heads that are really hard to get rid of. I've been using this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Ultra Gentle Facial Cleansing Oil. This has been a miracle worker. It has apricot oil, argan oil, soybean oil, sesame oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, and rice bran oil. I use this every day to remove my makeup and I use my regular facial cleanser after that and then I moisturize and apply my serums and whatnot. I use it for a minute, that's 60 second rule. This is really good for removing um, waterproof mascara and it's the only thing I've been using to remove my makeup. Goner makeup wipes. I cannot even believe that I used to use makeup wipes. And plus oil cleansing is really good for your skin anyways. It helps, you know, get rid of buildup. Not as harsh, not as abrasive as makeup wipes. So this is good stuff right here. I saw this coconut coffee body cream from OGX on Twitter. It was trending for a little bit because they said it smells just like the Brazilian bum bum cream. And I will say it does smell very coconutty and very warm and sweet and coffee. It smells really good, don't get me wrong. This smells amazing, but to me, the smell is not very similar to the bum bum cream. The bum bum cream is more like thick. Like the smell is way sweeter. This is sweet, but it has that coffee smell. So it's a little bit of like, a muskier scent which i love i love like a, a warm warm smell the brazilian bum bum cream i feel like is very sweet coconutty and desserty whereas this is more like you're you're putting like coffee on your body it smells delicious so i recommend this and it's so much product a little goes a long way i'm gonna apply some to my hand because why not not as thick as the next cream i'm gonna show you because this next cream is like for after you shave. This is the Tree Hut 24 hour hydrating shea body butter in the scent almond and honey. I love almond scents. I have never seen this scent in Walmart or Rite Aid, which is where I normally get my body care slash skincare products. All these things that I'm showing you right now, though like the brands are common, I feel like the scents are not that common and we can find them on Amazon really quickly. This almond and honey scent, I have never been able to find from the Tree Hut ever in stores. This cream, oh my god. It smells so good. It's like instant endorphins. It's a really thick cream, let me show you. Like it's super thick, very stiff and very thick. And it smells so good. It smells like sweet almond. It's a very clean, fresh scent. Oh my god, let me smell one more time. Ugh, it smells so amazing. I can't even tell you. It smells very sweet, almondy. And for me, almond smells a little bit like cherry blossom. So this is just like a little bit warmer of a smell. Super cheap. I think I got it for like $5. And I'm going to be listing all these products down below. So, you know, just check it out. This little tool, it's like a silicone scrubber for your scalp. I don't get a lot of dandruff on my scalp. But I feel like with this, I exfoliate all that dead skin off my scalp and it also stimulates hair growth. And it's got this handy you know, thing so you can get a grip and you can just scrub your scalp really well and it's a delightful sensation. You're scratching your scalp while you shampoo and it just really gets that shampoo in there and cleanses your hair so well where your fingers really can't do much. And I feel like since using this, my hair has grown faster. I love it. Good stuff. L'Oreal Sleek It 
iron straight hairspray and this is a 450 degree protection fiber lock tech for all heat tools and i've been using this for about a week or so and it smells really good I just apply it to my dry hair and i straighten my hair i don't really get as many frizzies and flyaways versus if i don't use heat protectant because lord knows my hair has been fried and damaged from not using heat protectant and from using heat tools so much for the days i'm feeling extra fabulous i use this Sleek It hairspray and it works pretty well. I feel like it holds my straight hair for a little bit longer. This eye mask has cups. I have very sensitive eyeballs. I'm up at the break of dawn. If my blinds aren't shut, the light really wakes me up and I'm just really sensitive to noises and stuff when I sleep as well. So when I use this, I literally get a full eight hours of sleep and it's adjustable. It's not Velcro, so it won't really get caught in your hair or anything like that, but has an adjustable strap here on the back you can tighten it or loosen it up as much as you want because of the cups it like creates a suction and keeps all the light out i got this on amazon last year as well and it just is very soft and it's very good quality so i like to use this to sleep every night last up here is more of like a hobby that i've picked up since breaking my foot i haven't really been able to do much because i have to watch the royal housewives of beverly hills i've taken up embroidery this is not all the tools that come in this package and this is an embroidery starter kit so it came with hoops a bunch of needles a bunch of threads and scissors and everything that you kind of need to get into embroidery and this is a pattern that i'm working on for my friend's baby i might finish it today i'm just gonna put her name here on the bottom but I feel like expressing our creativity, especially now during these times, is very important. Because when you find out what you like to do creatively, it's almost like you're finding yourself a little bit, right? Embroidery, I love it. That concludes this video. I really hope you guys saw something maybe that you like. Again, I'm gonna be listing everything in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> Take care, bye.